Hi guys and welcome back to another video for you. This is going to be a Brookfield haul from the 30th of July. I'm going to show you everything we bought. I've actually been away a week, so when you're watching this in 2024, this was filmed, was bought on the 30th of July, but filmed on the 14th of August. It's just been hectic. We had a lovely week in North Wales, but let's get cracking. Show you what we did purchase. So, one of the things I purchased was this tin. I'm thinking, why have you bought a random tin? This tin's worth 4 99 on its own. <laughs> but inside this tin are some vintage Britain's animals. Um, so, yeah. I paid for that. And this, which is suddenly complete, Page 15, he wanted 10 and 8, so I got £3 off, because I said, he said, well, I said what was the best, and he said, he said something, I said 15, we agreed on 15 50, but he didn't have 50p, so he said 15 in the end, so, yeah. I'm going to go through this bag, because this is a bag of mum. So mum got these bags which buy from the veg stands, they sell them every week. Mum also bought another one of these. The sound do work but I think it's still going to need some new batteries. Don't know what she paid but probably not very much. We've got this tractor and trailer with animals. Where's it from? No idea. Could be little people. I will look it up, but it's a tractor and trailer with farmers and animals. So, yeah. Oh. It looks like little people, but... We've got a woody. So we've got now Zerg, Woody, Lotso, Slinky, um, hey, honey, hey. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. It's Finkway. Which is even better. So I don't know if I knew that or not. So, yeah, I don't know if that's any better, because sometimes think he does better, sometimes it doesn't. But he's in light condition, I can't see anything wrong with him. Brings back memories. I think there's a Toy Story 5 coming out, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I'll look it up before I edit this video. There's another bag in the bottom, that's good to know. We've got a less... The maze toy. Um... I've got some pumpkin bits for 50p. Quite a bit actually. Like that. Figures. Still more figures in here. A train. Then she got a load of baby born stuff with a doll, which I find that she paid 10 quid, but it's a um Baby Born Sister doll. Funny enough, I had looked at it, but the reason I didn't buy it, because originally they wanted 20 quid, but the bag was full of knitted stuff. And I wasn't going to spend my first half an hour in this boots chucking out the knitted stuff to get the regenerating stuff. Um, because they were insistent it was all Baby Born. Anyway, Mum found it. And she got out the knitted stuff and said, look, that's knitted. That's not genuine, even though you think it's genuine. And this is baby born. What would you take for it? And they said 10, which is fair enough. So we've got some baby born stuff in there. I think it has an Annabelle dummy, which is great. Annabelle baby born is just hard to come by these days. I think I paid a pound for this, or 150. It's a Build-A-Bear, like, Mermaid Castle. 
take that other one plaster out of it, but yeah. This needs to clean, but this is going to cover my face now. Oh, it's ripped. Oh, bugger. It's got a little rip. I paid a pound. I'm sh sure there's still money in it, but I'll just show mum and see what she decides. Um, paid a pound. Did not see the damage to that. Um, it's a squishmallow. It's absolutely huge. I'm sure I probably could sell it. Obviously, I won't get very much. But it's absolutely huge, but it does need a clean. Where am I going now? Jurassic World Park thing, dinosaur pound. Right, where am I going now? This bag here now. I'll do that one in a second. This cost me two pounds. She wanted three. It's a Disney double decker bus. Can't remember how it opens, but it does open somehow. Maybe it doesn't make sense. Anyway, I'll look it up. But um, funny enough, I was, had a comment. I think it was my friend Star Louise said, "Oh, I bought a double decker Disney car bus in a charity shop for two quid." So when I saw this. And she said three. I knew I was going to try and get it for two because of that comment. If I find that comment, I'll put it here. But it's Shifty Row. But it's Disney. It's um two quid. I do look at my comments all the time and do try and reply. So the next bundle is Jewel Genuine Disney plushies. And it's from the film called, or program called The Good Dinosaur. And I always hear people talking about this program, but I've never seen the plushies before until this day. So we've got this one, and it's got the genuine stamp. Then we've got this one, and again, genuine stamp. We've got this one. This has the label, but no stamp. But it's official, Disney Store. So we've got him. Then we've got this one. He does have the stamp somewhere. In, in, on his wing. And then of course, the good dinosaur himself. And again, he's got the stamp on his foot at the back. I paid a tenner for the bundle, which I thought was quite a good price for all of them which just makes them two pounds each and I'm disputing disputing not disputing what's the word where you're f not disputing it's another word where you're thinking about if I separate them or abandoning them and I haven't really decided because I would probably try and start them quite high because that's the whole collection I think so I'm not sure about that but yeah, so next thing I bought was this Ella Dimples Twin Buggy. This was a fiver. In really good nick. So I'm going to get onto Mum's Best Party of this weekend, of that weekend. So the next lot cost us 20 quid. Should have been about 22. So. This is all Playmobil. We don't know what it is. It's some sort of princess Playmobil thing. Um, quite a lot in there. Um, so that was in this bundle. This is a Barbie car. Um, it doesn't have the windmills, but I still think it will sell well. Because it's a stretch limo thingy. With seat belts in the front, but it doesn't have seat belts in the back. We'll just list it and see where it goes with some dolls. Then I got this. Um, she's from the Disney store. No stamp, that air freshener stinks, but it says Disney store, makes magnificent. I thought she was worth picking up. 
And then this ugly thing, Ursula, and there's something else when I find it. It was a Moana toy. It's around in a bag. This was Ursula, again, Dursley store. She was worth about 9 99 Then also included is this big bag of Build-A-Bear. So, um, some really funky stuff like a coconut. Royal Escape. Some more modern, but build a sells in bundles anyway. My battery's getting low. <laughs> Great. Another thing of bags. I'm going to see how much more I can get through before the battery decides. Right, that's the morale on the thing. Um, I think it's the whole set, so yeah. This was the baby born sister. So I'll lock her up. And I think I got this Squishmallow for 50p. So that was that bundle. This has got more... Some of the animals have fallen down. This is a no art. I think it's Little People. Um, it doesn't say, but it's the same sort of stand and stuff. Um, yeah, paid two or two fifty for that. Can't remember. I got this Jurassic World dinosaur thing. It's got the little Jurassic World thing. I don't know what one it is or what it's worth. I got this with some LOL OMG dolls, which I'll show you in a minute. Those are the three LOL OMG dolls. Well, one, two might be teens, but yeah. That came with the dinosaur. Sure what this is, is it's just an anniversary uh anniversary uh order thing it's elsa we paid two quid see if i can find anything about her she's in really good condition i just missed that one from disney store lamps but unfortunately someone else is there i knew only 150 so of course she was going to take them but we got elsa ultimate So I picked up this die cast lorry, I did get some other bits with it, but I paid up for this and the track marks and stuff. Let's see if it won't open. Okay. But I thought all our die cast bits can go together because we've got a die cast tower somewhere. We've got another die cast thing. And some die cast vehicles, I'm just going to show it as one big bundle. That came with the die cast lorries, a happy land car and caravan. Mum bought that somewhere, I can't remember where she bought that, but yeah, she bought a Star Wars mug. came with the die cast thing. I had to pay up for them. That was only that got for 18 quid. This and seven door for four pounds. This is Ariel. Um, I think she's got her tag somewhere. Yeah, Disney, genuine Disney tag. I don't think she's got the stamp on her. Can't see the stamp on her dress, but yeah. 
I got that with the big squishmallow. It's a little dinosaur Jurassic World toy. I don't think Mum realised this ain't Barbie. This is Sparkle Girl. This ain't, this will be going back to a boot sale, and it's missing the steering wheel anyway. So that was a mistake. This ain't Barbie, unfortunately. But it did come with two Barbie dolls. She doesn't even look Barbie. She's probably the doll that goes with that. The seven dolls are still in here. There is one more somewhere. And I've got to get this pet shot. Yeah. I've got a Harley Quinn. Then Mum got this. Minecraft sword, I think it is. Don't play with guns or kids, guns, children. This was 50p. That is actually from my nephew, so, yeah. And the other thing in here is a load of PJ Master. I'm not sure what I'm paying. Some of this is like different, but yeah. That's that bag. So I've got this, I thought this was Little People, but this is Toot Toot, but it's, I'm going to turn you off because you're going to my head in. Pirate ship. But it should still sell well. Right. I'm all over the place. This is an Optonauts thing. I've got the other bits for it. I paid £4 for this. So, definitely money in it. Obviously, testing. So, yeah. See how we got on with that. But there's definitely money in Octonauts, as we know. This was interesting, and I lost the clip, but then I found the clip, but I had all the edited to the video, and now I've deleted the clip. But I picked up this, which is the Mario steering wheel. Normally, you just get one in a pack. There's two in this pack, but no games. But one's non official, so off market brand. Anyway, you normally get a game with it, so I just said, oh, where's the game? And these other people had the game. Anyway, I wanted the game and this, which would have been Fiverr, which was worth it. Anyway, they said, well, we had the game first, and we'll buy the game for three quid, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, the game needs to go with this, because it's not going to work without the game. And I was like, yes, it will. <laughs> and I was like, how? Because what do you play on it? I know you can play half a waste in games, but the point is I put this together to sell it together to make it more fast. So I just paid the f she said that you could have it for four. Because you've got to remember this is an off-brand one. Well, I thought this was a branded one as well, but no, this is off-brand. This is the one in there now, it's a branded one. Anyway, she paid I paid the four quid for this. Because I wasn't gonna let them have both. As I walked off I heard her say well, she only wants it for her Uber shop. I nearly turned around and said, so do you. <laughs> nearly. But I thought, bugger it. Not going to get into the debate. Because she goes around asking for games. And I get it. We all do it. But the attitude at our mate. If I could find the clip, I would insert it. But I've deleted it, unfortunately. And I'm not even making it up. It was so much. I just thought, bugger it. I'm not letting you have everything your way. Because at the same, she does the same thing, she's there at the crack of dawn and she has a, a son or husband or whoever. But yeah, I got this for four quid in the end. So if anyone sees a Mario game, cart game, and wants it said it took me cheap and it's in reasonable condition, please do. I'm willing to pay. 
it's just some people. Right. Totally lost what I have now. Got this. <coughs> Disney castle with doll. The only thing is, the pencil top is broken. I paid three, I think. Three or four. Not sure if there's meant to be a handle up there or not. Or a handle there because there's rape on there. This might have been a bad buy. I need to double check. But yeah. We'll see. remote control. Let's see if it's going to work. Turn it on there. don't know why it's got the side tape on it. Yeah, it's going to need batteries, isn't it? Remember where the batteries go in it. But yeah, hopefully it works. I paid a three quid. Oh, so I, paid, okay. I might have paid two actually. I can't remember if I had gold or not. But yeah, I'll find out where the batteries go. I'll give that a bash. I paid a pound for these things that I can't really remember. It was like two weeks ago. But this is some sort of transformer. I think it's the one. I don't know what his name is. But yeah, he transformers. I don't know what year it's from. 2010. So he looks like he's all there. But I don't know much about transforming things. But it also looks like it has batteries. It does have batteries. So. And so I got all that for a pound. I don't know if it does transform that. If it just makes sound. I have to look this up. Because I've never seen it before. That goes for the Octonauts thing. Which is there. Thing was this bag of stuff oh, that goes with the boat that I've already done earlier here right the last bag of stuff this bag and the Barbies and this breeder vehicle cost me between 12 and 13 pounds can't remember exactly because like I said I lost a couple of clips but I found them when I came back now I deleted them because I've edited the video my story is I got first dip on this stuff and I was sorting it out, and she said, fiver for the bear, bear set, and then this lot, it came to either 12 or 13, because I remember giving her 20, and she gave me more money than it should have been back, so I gave her back what it should have been, I can't remember which way around, so I either paid 12 or 13. Right, back to it. So, like I said, this cost me about... I think roughly 12 to 13. So we've got this big basket, came with three bears. Also a bunch of clothes. All right, back to it. So that was part of the bundle. Just cost me a pound. It's missing a couple bit, but this is Bruder. Um, I'm just gonna build a Bruder bundle, I think, eventually. So this one is unusual. And they did have the car, but the car was missing one wing mirror. I'll put a picture of what the car looks like. This is a Hello Kitty Barbie. I think it's Barbie or something. Simba. Um, I might just stick her on, on her own for Fiverr. Because she's still got her headband attached. She's got the right outfit, right shoe. 
just unfortunately we don't have the car because it, like I said I didn't want to buy the car because it only had one wheel mirror and I think I actually took her out the car to be honest because I really liked her outfit I just thought it was a Hello Kitty Barbie outfit so yeah she might be going on her own and I grabbed a load I think some might be Disney there's enough for two dolls in there I got it all for 12 or 13 pounds um, I think this is Malibu Barbie let me see if it says Barbie anyway yeah 2013 Mattel If she's got a slight rip on that side of her swimming costume. Yeah, it's official Barbie. So, yeah, we just picked up this whole bundle. It was really worth it. And that was the last one I bought that day after the Mario Kart drama. So, yeah, that's everything I bought at Brookfield on the 30th of July. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye, guys.